there was a study last year in one of the daily newspapers that there is 10 billion dollars worth of inbound medical tourism into India. Now, if you ask yourself, are the Americans going to India to get health care? Or are the Europeans going to India to get health care? The answer is that we Africans are going to India or Dubai or Turkey or elsewhere to get health care. Now, if you look at the regional countries, and if you want to bring people from the regional countries to Kenya for inbound medical tourism, what is the assurance that we are giving it to them? So we are going through our quality journey, and my colleague, Dr. Mativa, my colleague, Jamaima, who are here in the audience, they lead our clinical agenda. So we were the first hospital in Kenya to get the Joint Commission International Certification, which is a gold standard from US. Government didn't ask us, partners probably do not understand it. And it costs us 160 million shillings every year to get these quality accreditations. But the question is, is it the right thing to do for the patients? And if, we are, if someone is sitting in Rwanda or in Burundi or DRC or Ethiopia, and they are doing web search, where do I go for my health care? They will look for Aga Khan University Hospital in Kenya and see that they are following the international standards. Hence, we are going through these certifications and these clinical program certifications. And our laboratory services is accredited by College for American Pathology, which is again a gold standard. Again, it's a costly intervention, it's a very difficult audit, but it's the right thing to do for the patients. And that gives confidence to the patients outside that come to Kenya to get health care. We will provide you the same quality of care that you will get it in North America or in Europe. The, the burden for the NCDs, the non-communicable diseases, has increased in Kenya or in developing countries or in Africa in general. If you talk about cancer, if you talk about heart attacks, because of the lifestyles, those uh, disease burden is increasing significantly. So we were the first hospital in Kenya to bring in the PET CT and the cyclotron back, uh, back in 2017, 2018. We were the first hospital. It was a 600 million shilling investment. And that we did it from ourselves. It was not the taxpayers who paid us. It was, a, it was our own investment. But PET CT cyclotron is needed for advanced cancer diagnostics. And obviously, there are other institutions who have now are investing and doing the right thing by investing in the diagnostic and therapeutic for the NCDs. So that's relevance for you. So the 52 outreach centers that Kurum and his team manages is our way of taking the care closer to the patient so it is accessible. So people, a person in Narok who is sick doesn't have to come to Nairobi on Third Parklands. We are there closer to the home. And those medical centers, all the 52 medical centers, they are being run by medical doctors. They have advanced labs, they have pharmacy, and many of them have other radiology uh, modalities as well. And our intent and our plan, our objective is to continue to expand our outreach services to talk about, uh, to, to be true to our value of access.